Hello and welcome to problem 476. This is asking us to plot points and then make a graph and then describe the graph. So let's put these numbers in for x. So if you put x squared, negative 4 squared is everybody? 16. Minus 8. Minus 3. 16 minus 8 is 8. 8 minus 3 is, is that 5? Good. Negative 3 squared is? 9. Minus 6 minus 3. 0. Zero. Negative 2 squared is 4 minus 4 minus 3. These make 0. Negative 1 squared minus 2 minus 3. That's negative 1 minus 3, which is? Negative 4. 0 plus 0 minus 3. Ah, it's starting to come back up. 1 plus 2 minus 3. 0. You notice a trend? You want to make a guess what the last number is? 5. Yeah. 2 squared is 4 plus 8 minus 3. Oh, wait. No, no. 4 plus 4 minus 3. That's 8 minus 3, which is? Five. Okay, so here's our graph. Negative four, five. So an x is negative four, y is negative five. Let's go down to here. Boom. No, x is, uh, sorry, it's positive. Positive five. Stupid teacher. I'll get it right next time. I won't give up. I'll just keep trying. Negative 4, 5. Negative 3, 0. Negative 2, negative 3. Oop. Negative 1, negative 4. And 0, negative 3 coming back up. 1, 0. And 2, 5. So here's what I got. So now let's talk about it. It says to fully describe the graph. Here's where I'm going to pick on the class. Who can tell me something about this graph that's important? It is continuous. It is not discrete, right? Because we're not picking up our pencil. It's going the whole way. Good. You said it was? Parabola. A parabola. The shape is a parabola. Great. Linear. Is it linear? Linear means a line. Is this a line? No. no. It has two oh, it's a function. It is a function. Okay. It passes the vertical line test. Great. You said? It has two x-intercepts. It has two x-intercepts at negative 3 and at positive 1. Does it have a y-intercept? Yeah. At negative 2? Right there? No, negative 3. I just drew it badly. Right there. Um, some other things. Does it have symmetry? Is there a place where you could like spin it and it would be like a mirror, or spin it this way and it would be a mirror? Does it have reflection symmetry? Yeah. How about right here? We would say the line of symmetry is this line, x equals negative 1. Um, that's pretty good, huh? Is it increasing or decreasing? Increasing. Both. It's actually, when we go left to right, it's decreasing until we get to here, and then it's increasing after that. Right? Um, what's the domain? What are the x values it could possibly be? Will it keep on going this direction forever and ever? Keep on going this direction forever and ever? Can it be every x value left and right? Yes. Yeah, domain is all reals. The range, can it go all the way up and all the way down? All the way up and all the way down to here, right? We would say the range is any number greater than, what's that, negative 3? Negative 4. Negative 4 is the bottom. What do we call this point? That's the very bottom. You know what that, one, what that word is for that? It's the vertex. It's the minimum. It's called the vertex. Hope that helps you. Have a great day.